In today's video, I will show you the best and most efficient way to rank up in your grand company suitable for beginners and long-time players. Hey, it's me, Full Banana Johnson again, here to share some useful tips and tricks on Final Fantasy XIV that helped me a lot in my way through the game. As always, the links to everything I mention you will be able to find in the description down below. In my last video I shared a great way to earn huge amounts of gil through grand company loot boxes, but to get them and access to a bunch of great stuff like the ability to turn leftover gear you no longer need or random dungeon items into a bunch of gil, you will have to rank up your grand company. After looking around I found some misinformation I also remembered wrong that I wanted to correct. So today I will share the best way to go up the grand company ladder and earn those advantages with you. As Especially the first 9 out of the 11 ranks you should be able to acquire super fast following this guide. First I want to mention here that you should be at least level 50 and have done the ARR MSQ up to the point where you unlock flying to make it a lot faster. But the higher at least one of your jobs is, the easier and faster the whole ranking process will become. You will pick your grand company during the level 20 MSQ. After following the quest you will visit your grand company headquarters where you can request the rank up and everything else needed to do so. They are located here in Limsa Lominsa for the Maelstrom, here in Gridania for the Order of the Twin Adder and here in Uldar for the Immortal Flame. Now your first step should be to open your hunting log. It is under the main commands, logs and then hunting log. Here you can find the icon of your grand company on the bottom. Click it and look what you have to kill and where. I will link this handy website in the description box, showing you visually where every single enemy you have to kill in your hunting log is located. From this you will earn 4368 seals, which allows you to rank up to the second rank for 2000 of those seals. And exactly here is where you find a lot of wrong information in ranking up guides, telling you to complete the second tier of the hunting log at this point and earn 8565 extra grand company seals, bringing you almost to 5th rank. This however is not possible due to the fact your 2nd rank hunting lock requires you to be sergeant's 2nd class which you are still quite a while away from. So instead you have to earn all in all 12000 seals, of which you should have at least 2368 from the first hunting log left over, meaning worst case about 9600 more to get. You can check now how many grand company seals you have currently under character, currency and here the common tab. For a quick 1438 seals you can talk to your commander on the right side and accept the quest a pub no longer. Following the quest to Morabi Dry Dogs in Lower Lenosia and from here talking to the ferry skipper that will bring you to the wolf's den. Handing in the quest here will reward you with the seals, which only leave about 8200 more to go. By far the easiest way from here is to get those seals with 2 to 5 duty roulettes leveling adventurer in need. This depends on your level because the rewards are scaling, so the higher your job's level is, the more seals you will earn. But keep in mind, you really want to be the role in need which always gives you a huge chunk of seals. Doing it as another roll only rewards a small amount of seals once a day. With the roll in need you can do it as much as you want, always getting a big grand company seal reward. And it also helps leveling your job on top of that. A hot tip for those DPS only players. You can pick up the quest, the makings of a gunbreaker in Gridania near the Aetherite to unlock gunbreaker giving you a level 60 tank job and tanking those dungeons up to level 60 is still very easy, especially given the gunbreaker starter gear with a pretty impressive 255 item level. I will link a very short video in the description going over every skill of the level 60 gunbreaker so even early beginners can feel confident in tanking those 3 to 4 dungeons real quick. If you really don't want to do that, you could also run fates for those grand company seals. Between level 40 and 70 in ARR, Heavensward or Stormblood content for 200 to 300 seals per fate. 
After you got those 12,000 seals, you return to your Grand Company headquarters, handing them all in for three rank ups, reaching Sergeant Third Class. That gives you the access to the second level of the hunting log. You can finish this one, either with the in game description or the website. This should reward you with 8,565 seals, enough to rank up once more. And finally, unlock one of the biggest features in your Grand Company Expert Deliveries. The ability to turn green and blue gear into seals, which makes the rank up so much easier from here. My recommendation is either you hand in some dungeon loot you have laying around or old gear. You could also go to the market board searching for cheap level 60 to 80 gear between 1 and 1000 gil. Per item, this is a very cheap price and an easy way to rank up super quick. Most level 60 items reward between 950 and 1100 seals. And level 80 gear can reward up to around 1700 seals. For the next step you want to collect 24,000 more seals. But with your new expert deliveries that should be rather easy to accomplish in a couple of minutes. After collecting those 24,000 seals you can turn them all in for 3 more rank ups in your grand company. But after the first rank up your commander on the right side will have a quest for you called Shadows Uncast. Asking you to complete the level 44 Dazamil Darkhold dungeon. After this you can rank up once more. At this point your commander will have another quest for you called Gilding the Bilious. Asking you to complete the level 74 Aurum Vale dungeon. And once again after completing this quest you can rank up. And with this only two more ranks left on your road to completion. Coming next we are gonna talk about the rank of lieutenant and what follows afterwards. What new features it brings and how it changes the dynamic of grand companies and the ranking up process. So stay tuned for that but first like the video and comment down below if you got any questions regarding grand companies. I will see to answer those as best as I can. At the end of the video I will also share two tips on how you can use the grand companies to make your life in game a lot easier. Now owning the rank of lieutenant and with this unlocking once again one of the strongest features your grand company has to offer. The squadrons. Which I will explain a lot more in detail in a dedicated video coming up soon. But as a small explanation for everyone knowing the trust system, this is a more complex and unnerved trust system. Or in other words, a group of NPCs you can do dungeons with and after each dungeon you do together, they grow stronger until they reach a cap. But to give you an idea how powerful they are, those NPCs can do way more damage than any player on their level and are able to carry you through dungeons as long as you're not a healer. You can go basically AFK and let those NPCs clear the dungeons for you. I leveled a lot of alt jobs with them up to around level 64, doing a lot of other stuff on the side. Now we are on the point where ranking up no longer requires seals but the completion of goals. So if the unlock quest for squadrons has not popped up yet, you have to complete the level 15 quest rising to the challenge here in Limsa Lominsa. First, to unlock your challenge log. After this, the squadron unlock quest will be available for you. For the next steps, you have to talk to some NPCs to finish the unlock quest of the squadron. Pretty straightforward. Please read the introduction here because it is teaching you the basics to understand how the squadron works. At one point it asks you to recruit a new member to your squadron, which means it wants you to complete challenges in your challenge log. From now on every time you complete a challenge in your challenge log, there is a chance to get an application for a new squadron member, which will pop up as a message as soon as it happens. The first one has a pretty high chance. I did two easy golden saucer challenges after unlocking it and got myself a new recruit. Here is where it gets a little more complicated because another big system is interacting with this one and no one squadron is the same because of different members and stats. But don't worry about that. First off I will link a squadron guide in the description explaining in detail if you get stuck at any point. The first obstacle to overcome is the level 20 flagged mission Void Sand Elimination which is unlocked upon reaching level 20 with one of your squadron members. 
This can either be achieved by sending them on squadron missions, as explained in the tutorial, which is like a mission table for any beginners that are coming from WoW. You basically send them off to do adventures on their own, mobile game style. Each normal mission will take 18 real-time hours to complete. The rest is explained in the introduction quest. Matching their strength, paying a small fee of seals for every send-off, and so on and so forth. Also remember, for flagged missions, you want to beat all three stats, or the mission will fail. There are reports of people completing them with only two, but I never seen that personally, so the chance must be pretty low. Note however, failing whatever mission will still reward you with 50% of the EXP, so you are able to spam the missions to level them up still, and eventually outlevel any requirements. After defeating the mission, rank 2 of your squadron unlocks, giving you one extra training you can do to make them stronger. As well as the unlock for dungeons, you are now able to run with your squad. But keep in mind to rotate some of them while doing that, because you always send 4 squadron members on a mission, but only complete and level 3 of them at a time in a dungeon. After this, all we need to do to rank up our squad is to complete the next flagged mission, Crystal Recovery, which unlocks upon reaching level 40 with one of your squadron members. This can again be done by missions, but now you got the second option. The option to run dungeons with them, giving you as well as them XP each time. This way you can either take real time for them to do their missions or grind their levels by spamming dungeons. This flagged mission can be a little trickier and you might want to overlevel some of your squad to beat it more easily. After you have beaten the mission, you unlock the next rank. And for the last rank to get, you only have two requirements. The first one is to complete five different dungeons together with your squad, which is pretty easy and can be achieved as soon as you get at least one tank, one healer and one DPS squad member up to level 44 or higher. The second one is to bring one of your squad members up to level 50 and complete the last flagged mission, Sapper Strike, which has rather low requirements and can be done with other members still being around their 40s. Once you have done that, you will rank up for the last time. And congratulations, you are now the highest rank in your grand company, able to enjoy all those features and cool items your quartermaster is willing to sell, like exclusive pets, emotes, loot boxes, glam and so on and so forth. Now, those two tips on the side here. A bonus you could call it. First off, if you got crafters especially higher than level 80, you can look at the supply tab at your personal officer you requested all those rank ups from. There he's asking you for crafted items. Especially interesting here are those with a gold star in front of them. Telling you that today the reward for this delivery is doubled, both in seals and experience. And if you also give them the high quality version, you will earn 4 times the EXP and seals for a single delivery, which in most cases is a whole level for a crafter and a bunch of seals on top of that, even if your level is between 80 and 90. Each delivery can only be done once per day, and the deliveries the officer is asking you for will rotate once every day, with a time depending on your time zone. You will see the time in your window as well. You also don't have to craft those items yourself. You can buy them from the market board for a decent price and bring all of your crafters up to level 90 without any troubles. You could also do the same for gatherers at the provisioning tab if you want. But another thing, even before you reach the last two ranks, that can take a little longer depending on how you do them, you can buy very helpful stuff already from your grand company vendor. If you're approaching the seal cap, your first priority should be to spend them on ventures. Those are the items with the highest seal to gill ratio in the whole game and are always worth having. I myself keep a handy and big pile of them always at the ready. You never want to run out of those. If you want to know how to turn those seals into millions upon millions of gill, click on this video right here. And if you're looking for some more guides, tips and tricks Final Fantasy XIV related to help you on your journey, subscribe to the channel. This was Full Banana Johnson and thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.